Hello folks, I'm Dean with Dean's Woodworking. Y'all come on in the shop, make yourself comfortable. Today, we're going to talk about burning wood. No, I don't mean in the fireplace or anything like that. I'm talking about burning rings on your turnings. And so I've had so many questions about the wires and the devices that I use to uh, put the burn rings on the screwdriver handles and, and several other things that I've put them on. We're just going to go through the process of exactly what to do. Take a look at this. Now folks, all this is is guitar string between two dowels, but they, they absolutely work great for doing these burn marks, and it just adds a little bit of decoration, makes them look just a little bit better. Do be careful if you're doing this with these wires. You don't want to touch that wire after you've done that. The other thing is, once you've done that, go ahead and hit it with a little 220 or 320. This is 320 right here. And what that'll do is that'll just take any burning off of the uh, surface. And it's that quick and simple to do. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. What we'll do is we'll come in and right up here, we're going to make two little marks. We're going to do two in the middle. And then we're going to do two right here at this end. Now we're going to come in with a guitar string, two, uh, two piece, blocks of wood. And we're just going to hold that and burn a ring right in there. Followed by, you get the idea. Just dresses it up just a little bit. Once we've got that done, we'll come in with just a little bit of 320 sandpaper. All that's going to do is kind of knock the... Uh, the staining from the burn off. Let's take stop and take a look at that. Absolutely looks great. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to set these calipers at about one inch. And so what I'll do is just come in, make a mark, make another. Okay, now we're going to take the, the largest uh, guitar string I have and we're going to put it in there and just let it burn that. Again, you do not want to touch that guitar string after it's done that. Okay, now that you know what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and get to work making those. First of all, let me tell you what uh, the supplies are that I've got. I took a half inch dowel and cut it approximately two inches. No, I did not measure. It may be off a little bit. Uh, it it's, does not have to be precise. And then I've got a couple of pieces of guitar strings. And where did I get the guitar strings? Well, I went to one of the local guitar shops, walked in and said, hey, I'm a wood turner. I would like some takeoff uh, guitar strings if you've got any available. And I showed them what I do with them. They said, hey man, how many do you want? So I think they ended up giving me two sets and that's been some time ago. And uh, I'm still using off of those two sets. So I thought what we would do is go ahead and put one together today so you guys can see exactly Exactly what I do. All right, let me put you guys right down here. And then again, I've got a couple of uh, guitar strings here. 
I don't know if you can even see that little one, but you can, you can see it's quite a bit smaller. We'll go ahead and work with this one because it's a little bit larger and I think you guys can see it better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I have got uh, a half inch dowel, roughly two inches long. I drilled a hole right through the middle of it. The size of the hole, again, is not that important. Uh, that looks like about 3 16 but I can't be for sure. I'm gonna loop this around and we're just going to twist that wire over. So once we do that, I'm just gonna take our pliers, give it a little bit of a twist so that it locks it in there, okay? That gives you a handle. Big surprise here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other end. So as you can see, we just twist that around, then take our pliers, give it a pretty decent twist so that it stays on there and gives us something to pull against. Folks, it's really that easy to make one of these and it costs you basically nothing. Again, let me just show you what I do or some samples of what I do with these guitar strings to to burn in lines on my turnings, just make them look just a little bit better. Take a look. Folks, thank you for watching. Hopefully this is yet another tip that will serve you well and make your turning a little more fun and a little bit more enjoyable. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy turning.